Good afternoon, good day to everybody. I'd like to wish everybody a very happy and blessed Easter. We come into this Easter season having lived the mystery of death and resurrection. During this past week, the liturgies and the readings from the Bible, they talk about the real humanity of Jesus. He was betrayed by his closest friends. He was abandoned by them. When he asked them to accompany him, they turned him down. They weren't faithful. They denied him. One minute they said they will die with him, and the next minute they're saying they don't even know him. He was put before the civil authorities, accused of crimes. Jesus wasn't put to the test by the civil governments because he was this likable guy, but he was telling a radical story, and it was a radical story of love. But yet, he never defended himself. He never lashed out. He never tried to get vengeance. He never bullied anybody. This is our God, a God incarnated in the flesh. And I know that all of us suffer those same kind of things. We have people who abandon us when we feel like we need them. We have people who bully us and we feel persecuted. Sometimes we don't understand why, why that happens. And so what is our response? Our response is to call to do what Jesus did, is to be able to forgive to surrender ourselves to the Father's will. So, then what happened on Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday transformed human history, transformed everything. All these sufferings we have now have meaning and now have purpose. Our lives are transformed. Death is a terrible thing, and many of us, especially in these past couple years, have experienced death much, up, much more up close than we had before. We've had the outbreak of COVID, we're aware of wars and, and conflicts that are going on all over the place. And so we're faced with this and, and, and I don't know about you, but I stand helpless thinking, what can I do about this? What can I do about this? But we do know that God's love is in this, that his mercy and his presence is in there. And that's the mercy and the presence that we are called to. We're well aware of the conflict. Most of the world has attention, uh, lots of attention focused on Ukraine, on the atrocities that uh, uh, one country would invade another for no reason. But that's the place that we all know. Huh? But there are ongoing wars, ongoing displacements all over the world. The Holy Father often talks about people who are throwaway people people who are marginated and, and put at the edges and nobody pays attention to. But we also have countries and nations that are throwaway countries, throwaway and marginated. We know the big powers, uh, we know the United States, we know Russia, we know China, we know the developed world very well. But many of us, even when we hear the names of certain countries like Myanmar, uh, the Congo, South Sudan, we don't even know where those places are on a map. They're often forgotten countries. They're often throwaway countries in many of our minds, in our eyes, in our consciousness. The situation of refugees and immigrants and asylum seekers has only increased over these years. In a short period of six to eight weeks, more than four million people fled Ukraine. Six million are left displaced internally. So what do we do about it? We love, we love, we love, we love. We try to bring Christ to every dimension of our life. And we are called to bring this transformative love that Jesus brought through his example of his life, of his mercy, because his last acts were ones of forgiveness. So on this Easter Sunday, let us be filled with this joy and understand that God wants us to live this resurrection and that he gives us the grace and the power and his presence with us continuously to be able to be people who love, that we can be nations who love. That that is what our call is, to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to the world. So in conclusion, I would like to ask everybody also to be aware that we, the Missionary Sisters, are entering a very important time in our history. We will be having our general chapter two months from now, 
It's a period when we get together and decide and pray together and discern together what is God asking of us. So I would ask all of you to join in prayer with us and um, yeah, that we, the missionary sisters, can be faithful daughters of this heart of Christ that we proclaim to be.